Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 7 of season 2 of My Next Life as a Villainess. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see what happened during last Friday's episode. Okay, so everybody's not going to be on Katarina's butt today again, right? <laughs> oh, you poor baby. Why don't you go get some sleep? That feeling is real, even for me. I might be up until like 3, 4 in the morning editing all 7 of these videos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, overworked as heck. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I don't think Sora's going to do anything. Shock my skin. Huh. 
Okay. Yeah, they've been working their butts off. <laughs> mhm. Mm and I feel like Katarina is about to do something. Well, technically, if you she already is living a different life. <laughs> you're, you're describing... <laughs> oh. <gasps> hmm. It's very creepy and gorgeous, and I love it. Oh. <sighs> nice job, Katarina. Alan? A bur- Alan, you want to be a bur? <laughs> okay. And there's Katarina working on her garden. Oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, kitty told the kitty. Oh, that's so cute. just made me fall in love with him all over again. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so f A boat? Drado? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> it's just a dream! Probably in her dream, she eaten. Some books, playing some games. <sighs> Makes sense. <laughs> 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 
Maria? Oh, Keith? Okay, can we see? Can we see? Okay, but the thing is, how in the world do you get them out, though? See, why don't we know about this beforehand? Oh, God. Yeah. So where would the ninth person go? Okay. a little too dangerous or a hmm. I think you just opened that door back up Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. But wait, should we not split up? Maria? You want to be a prince? <laughs> Should be Keith now, right? My God.
Yeah, but you can't get out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just hope our file isn't stuck in the zone dream. Which he is. Oh, there's the doll. And I get that, but you know, your, your life every day is supposed to have chaos in it. Whether it's at work, you know, going out to go get something, food, whatever. No. <laughs> Like, no offense, this dollhouse feels more like a hellhole. Uh, and just, no thank you. <laughs> yeah, because, you know what, really, I still think it's weird that Alan wants to be a bird. <laughs> Nicole being wanted, wanted to be a cat, that's okay. Because, you know, cat kibito. And spend time with you. No, not the scissors. Wind up. Oh. Are you serious? You telling me it was that easy? Hopefully. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah. <laughs> well, that was an interesting day. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> exactly. Just let dreams be dreams. Because <laughs> I think it would have been really weird to still be like, Alan, you know, yeah, I want to be a bird and, you know, kiss the love of my life, but really more pecking the crap out of her. And then, Nicole, I want to be a cat and just sing me out. Like, oh my god, sir. Sir. Sir, did you not know what that did to me? Like, oh, oh my god, that's worse than when having him cast as freaking Helios and Sailor Moon Crystal Eternal. Like, oh my god. Having him play freaking Pegasus. Oh my god, like, your girl was fangirling so much the week that movie came on Netflix, because, oh god, he, he just did a really good job in that, and it's just like, I can't, this is too much, like, oh my god, too freaking much, but it was so good, so, so good. Seeing everybody's dreams, it reminds me of that one episode from season one, where, oh my god, um... I think they were stuck in that book. I think it was everybody except Maria. And you got to see what everybody was like biggest thing was. And and it still I think revolved around Katarina just as much as this did with their dreams and such. But to see a different extent <laughs> was really hilarious. Especially for Maria. I was not expecting Maria to be like, Yeah, I wanna have a big behind muscles. Like <laughs> Need some no or right, okay, so Mary Mary's was obvious. Like the fact is that she wants to be a guy so she can just swoop up Katarina for Toronto. Keith wanting to be a girl and he looked so effing pretty with those pigtails and such and then having everybody all the girls be guys and all the guys be girls. That was amazing. I loved that so much. Honestly, really um Hearing Katarina say, you you know, play, doing her male voice, like, oh my god. Like, once again, this is why she's so, I think, like, in a couple other shows that I've seen where she, like, mm, what was the last male voice she did that I heard? Um, oh, Akudama Drive as the boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did a really awesome job as that. Because, like, I didn't even know what, no, was it the boy? Yeah, it was the boy. Because she was the cat first and then she was the boy. And I was like, that sounds nothing like her. And so I had to go back and rewatch the damn show for the bazillion time, even though every single time when I watch Akudama Drive, I cry like a baby. Because um, I care about those characters so fucking much. But it, it's just, like, the range that any of these seiyus have. And I think this is a really good idea slash episode. Really I, a good idea for an episode to see their range and how much they could really do. Because everybody, especially in these dream sequence, did a damn good job. <laughs> it would have been hilarious if the guys... <laughs> had to bet their girl counterparts and the girls had met their guy counterparts. I think that would have been really enjoyable. But unfortunately, you know, wouldn't be able to see it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of season 2 of My Next Life as a Villainess. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on Friday for episode 8. Bye, guys.